Good morning, students. Morning, ma'am. Morning, ma'am. How many students are in your classes? Hello? How many students uh, are in your class? It was 40 plus, ma'am. 40 plus. But uh, join only 22 students. Okay, so okay, we will discuss about the classification of biodiversity. Okay. <clears throat> Now uh, we are going to discuss about the classification of living organisms. Uh, hello? Hello students, are you here? Are you hear me? Are you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we are going to discuss about the classification of living, living organism. Okay. Now, uh, anyone know what is living? Hmm? You don't know what is living? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then tell me what is living. Right in the sad box. Living organisms. Right in the sad box. Okay. Yes. What is your name? Carly Game. You give the right answer. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now I will explain uh, briefly. Okay. Uh, we have we have seen our art they have diversity in the climate they have diversity in the organism they are occupying uh, and we have the diversity in the landscape also right uh, so we have many different uh, regions or which is present in the in a single art okay depending upon this region we have wait Depending upon these regions, we have different type of uh, organisms also present in the region. 
okay so here we will uh, we will be studying about those organisms the uh, the organisms which are related some organisms which are showing some common relationship or same common characteristics okay common characteristics will be grouping those organisms into one group or into one category okay got it man natural problem uh, students uh, can you see this my, my screen hello yes ma'am okay okay maybe Student ka problem hua hai. Pure nahi tha deuri. Okay. Depending upon the similarities and dissimilarities, they share between them, and also we will be studying about how to classify the organisms into different groups, and how are we going to name those organisms because we need a scientific name or we need a name for an organism. Wait. organisms by which it will be uh, known all over the world but not by its local name okay we have different regions and we have different names depending upon the region or locality so for the uh, scientists or for the researchers to study about those organisms we need a common name given to that organisms by which it will be known all over the world right uh, we'll discuss about uh, classification right so uh, this is the re region okay okay so let's got it you got it no yes, yes ma'am okay So I'm starting up with what is living. The living organisms to be a living or to show a living characteristics. What they do need. Right? First, they should show growth. The, the organism should grow in size or it can be grow in numbers. Right? So the growth can be of two types. It can be in the size size growth or it can be the growth of numbers okay size growth is usually shown by multicellular and uh, increase in the number usually show the unicellular okay growth should be from within of the body so, so growth should be from within of the body okay got it okay now uh second criteria is the reproduction reproduction is the uh, very important factor to classify the organisms okay third criteria is the metabolism okay so now we will discuss about what is biodiversity okay so what is biodiversity Anyone know what is biodiversity? Plant and animal. Huh? 
plant and animal plant and animal biodiversity yes please describe briefly what is biodiversity classification of living organisms it's not biodiversity Okay, I will explain. Biodiversity is the certain form of two words biological and diversity. Okay, it refers to all the variety of the of life that can be found on earth. Okay, like plants, animals, fungi, and microorganisms, microorganisms also. Okay. As well as to the communities that they form and the habitats in which they live. Okay. Have any questions? Okay. No man. Okay, now we will discuss a uh, process of grouping and classifications. All the object in a group would have same properties would uh, all the object in a group would have same properties we call this same properties the property of the group it's called a uh, process of grouping and classification okay a group formed on the basis of similarities in any one property is called grouping What is classification? Yes, or uh, I'm sharing only image. What is classification? Anyone know? Okay, the basics of which is the presence and absence of particular property made in the way is called classification. Now I explain briefly. Classification is the process by which anything is grouped into environment.
ओके क्लासिफिकेशन इज द प्रोसेस बाय व्हिच एनीथिंग इज ग्रुप्ड इनटू एनवायरनमेंट कैटेगरीज बेसिक्स ऑन सम इजीली ऑब्जर्वेबल कैरेक्टर्स ओके द सीरीज टर्म फॉर दिस कैटेगरीज इज एक्सा बेस्ड ऑन ऑन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इनटू डिफरेंट टेक्सा Okay, the process of classification is known as taxonomy, external and internal structure along with the structure of cell development process and ecological information of organisms are basics of taxonomy. Sir, are you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, the living organisms are classified into common categories such as kingdom phylum uh, for plants okay now classification the living organisms are classified into common categories such as class order family genus species okay Now, uh, species, a group of individual organisms with fundamental similarities and fundamental similarities and considered as a species. One should be able to distinguish one species from the other closely related species based on the distinct morphological differences. Next, genus. Comprises a group of related species which has more characters in common in comparison to species of other genera. Genera are aggregates of closely related species. Okay, next is family. Family has a group of related genera with still less number of similarities as compared to genus and species. For example, among uh, animals, genus Panthera, comprising lion, tiger, leopard, is is put along with genus. Uh, cat is cat in the family of uh, Pelidae. Okay. Next is uh, order. Generally, uh, order and other higher taxonomic categories are identified based on the aggregates of characters. Order being a higher category is the assembly of families which exhibit a Okay, well, uh, which exhibit a few similar characters. The similar characters are less in number as compared to different genera included in a family. Plant families like Convolvulaceae, uh, Solanaceae are included in the order. Uh, Polymonols. Uh, order polymonols mainly based on the floral characters. Okay, the animal order Carnivora uh, includes families like uh, Philidae and Canidae. Okay, next is class. This category includes related orders. Uh, for example, order. Primata comprising monkey, gorilla, and gibbon is placed in class. Mammalia, along with other carnivora, uh, that includes animals like tiger, like tiger, cat, and dog. Class Mammalia has other order also. 
Next is uh, phylum. Classes comprising animals like fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, along with mammals, constitute the next higher category called phylum. Okay, in case of plants, classes with a few similar similar characters are assigned to a higher category called division. Okay, next kingdom. All animals belonging to various phyla are assigned to the highest category called kingdom animala. In the classification system of animals, the kingdom planty on the other hand is distinct and comprises all plants for from various divisions uh, henceforth we will refer to these two groups and animals and plant kingdoms okay you have any questions any doubts Amen. yes uh, if any examples were so that would be better Like what you told about those species, genus, family, I forgot already. Acha. Wait, I'll explain you. Okay, I'll explain. Taxonomic studies consider a group of individual organisms with fundamental similarities as a species. One should be able to distinguish one uh, species from the other closely related species based on the distinct morphological differences. Okay, uh, like uh, Magnifera indica, Solenum tuberosum, potato, uh, and Panthera leo. All the three names indica, tuberosum, and leo represent the specific epithets. Okay, while the first words Magnifera solanum and Panthera are genera and represents another higher level of section or category. 
okay each each genus may have one or more than one specific epithets representing different organisms but having morphological similarities uh, for example panthera has another uh, sorry specific epithet called tigri and sotanum includes species like negram okay and uh, sorry species like negram and okay Negram. Okay, human beings. Uh, human beings belong to the species uh, Spanish, which is grouped in the genus Homo. The scientific name does uh, does for human beings is written as Homo sapiens, right? Not clear. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Now clear? Yes, ma'am. Clear. Okay. Then uh, tell me what is uh, classification? Uh, write in the chat box what is classification? Yes. Yes.
हेलो यस मैम यस यस ओके स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज गिव योर अटेंडेंस राइट इन दाइड बॉक्स zero <coughs> one <coughs> Fifteen. Nineteen. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Twenty. Thirty-seven. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. My roll number twenty, ma'am. Twenty. Yes. Forty. Sixteen. Sixteen. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Okay. Ma'am, zero six million. Zero six. Hello Hello
I can't hear you. What's your rule number? 20? I can't hear you. What's your rule number? 22, ma'am. 22. Please write in the chat box. Please write in the chat box. Yes. For now. What? Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Number twenty now. Number twenty two zero two zero. Already done two zero. Oh, thank you. And <coughs> anyone else? are present okay <clears throat> thank you students